and, and I know like DJ kind of told us too, like the plan is you guys as a group are getting together with your families. That's yeah, yeah, we're getting together. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just a little team bonding, celebrate, and uh, enjoy Thanksgiving. And so, um, you know, tomorrow's a day off, so just kind of recharging and, and uh, you know, clear the mind a little bit and be ready to, you know, really start the season on Tuesday. What the, what would you say should be a real realistic expectation on your team uh, this season? Um, you know, I think that the expectation is we should be able to compete every night. Uh, you know. It's a process to learn how to win, and but I, you know we have the players and the ability to make plays with any team and to you know and to be in every game no matter who we play. So um, the expectation is every night believing that we have a chance to win and knowing we have a chance to win, and, and I think that's different than years past. Connor, how crucial were these seven preseason games for this team, mostly compared to last year when there was when there was none before? Yeah, it's big. I mean, even you know, I, even myself been. Uh, around for a bit and your first couple preseason games it's uh, you know everything's happening so fast but you know as the preseason goes on you become a little bit more comfortable and uh, it's good to get those games out of the way and and so that everyone's um, you know feeling good going into game one and, and it, uh, you know we don't have any any sort of um, adjustment period. Connor, Claire Hanna, um, what's it like playing on a line with Shane and Nick? Great, um, they're both uh, really responsible players um, above the puck, win their battles really well, and I, I like playing with both those guys. They open up a lot of space. Um, they compete hard, you know, and they they make plays. So I really enjoyed playing with those guys. Really, really, obviously, Paulie I know, but we've been really impressed with Pinto. Um, I think he's uh, got a bright future, and you know, I, I, I'm loving playing with him. And uh, he's a big centerman, strong, wants the puck all over the ice. So he's, uh, you know, we're lucky to have him. What have you seen from his evolution? Um, you know, I, obviously, I think he a little bit of adjustment last year when he came from NCAA. Just everything's just so different, obviously, at the NHL level. But um, you could see that he had the raw skill and and talent. And um, but it's rare you see a guy like a young guy like that so responsible right out of college. And he's he knows how to play a full 200 foot game. Um, you know, he he's uh, he's not cheating for offense. He's not doing. He's taking care of the little things. He's winning his battles, which he's doing a lot of things that you see older veteran guys do uh, that have been around and realize that's the those are the little differences that uh, win and lose games. And and he's got that right out of the gate. So he's uh, you know, he's been a great addition. You've now been around this team for a few years and you know considered a veteran. Do you take your role any different, being maybe that? somewhat older guy, I guess? Um, a little bit. I think so. I think, um, you know, I hope, but I, I think that guys respect my voice in the room a little bit now that I've been around for a while. And, uh, you know, so I think that it's important to have leaders that are, are vocal and, and uh, you know, I'm trying to fill out that role a, as much as possible. And, you know, we have such a really, honestly, such a great group of guys, uh, guys that are really bought in. So it's, um, so it's you know it's a easy team to be a veteran on. Uh, guys really want to win and they want to do things the right way. Does the situation with Brady does it affect the group at all, is, or is it you know that's outside perception that oh it's affecting the young players of wondering when he's going to sign or not, or is it just you guys do go about your business until things are resolved? Yeah, it's, it just comes down to being a pro, um, just controlling what you can control and just every day just. Uh, you know, coming to the rink and, and and doing what's asked of you. And right now, obviously, he's not here. He's a big part of our team. We hope he gets here soon. But, uh, you know, um, for us, it's just, uh, you know, you got to just deal with what's in front of you. And uh, right now, you know, for me, uh, you know, I'm sure that the guys all want him here. But, um, you know, we have to uh, we have to plan like he's not going to be here. Connor, sorry, uh, DJ said just before you came up that uh, Austin Watson's going to be out for probably four weeks or so. Just how much of a loss is that for you guys? That's it's big. I mean, Waddy's brings a lot more to the team um, than maybe like the naked eye. He, he's such a heart and soul guy. You know, the, his willingness to block shots with any part of his body, um, his willingness to just commitment to doing anything it takes to win is contagious. And uh, so we'll miss him, and we'll hope he gets back soon. Yeah, no problem. Thank See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, you as well.